Welcome to your Dynamic Sets dashboard. To build your first set, click into Navigator. Navigator is a powerful mapping interface that has its own demo video to teach you how to use it. This video will teach you how to navigate your Dynamic Sets dashboard, explore each individual Dynamic Set, and leverage Dynamic Sets across the entire Wheelhouse platform. Any Dynamic Sets you've created will always be visible from your dashboard. If I wanted to edit the listings in the set, I could do so by clicking into Navigator. However, let's first view our Metrics tab. On the Metrics tab, you'll have an Overview, Calendar, Deep Dive Metrics, Graphs, and Trends. On the Overview page, you'll be able to see important details such as aggregated or individual pricing strategies and the location of all the listings that are in this set. Toggle over to the Calendar to see individual nightly prices for the properties in the set. Metrics will allow you to explore a variety of metrics, including openness, length of stay, and more. On the graphs page, you'll be able to see these metrics spread out over time. In this case, I'm looking at adjusted occupancy up to a year in the future. Your trends page is yet another view where you can see performance over time. For all the data you see in your dynamic set, you can export it as an image or a CSV. Your dashboard allows you to easily search, organize, and evaluate your sets. As you can see, I have multiple pages of sets here. Click through or search for any set through all of your listings. From a set, I can add my own portfolio's listings to make the set more valuable. For example, this set already has 25 listings I've identified as good competitors in my set. Now I'm going to assign listings from my own portfolio. You can see I've already assigned one listing. Click Assign Listing, and then grab properties that feel like the right fit for this set of listings. Once you're done, close out. Now you'll be able to see metrics by simply clicking Show Metrics. Now I'm seeing my set's performance versus average listing performance, and then the performance of individual listings in this set as well. If I want to edit details, duplicate, or upgrade to a paid set, it's easy to do so as well. Dynamic sets are designed to be brought into every aspect of Wheelhouse. With a set created, let's go see how we can use it. First, let's go to your performance page. As you likely know, your performance page shows you important metrics such as your pickup and your pacing over time. Now I can add a comparison. I can bring in a set to see how my portfolio is performing against any other set of listings anywhere. There are many other customizations you can make here that will teach you in future videos. Additionally, on your individual listing view, you can now see your pricing strategy against any dynamic set. That's right, you can now assign your listings to multiple sets. If you want to control which set you're viewing here, simply click here to adjust. Now I can see my pricing strategy versus other strategies in real time. Lastly, let's go to our portfolio view for another view of our dynamic sets. I'm gonna click Portfolio Metrics. As you likely know, you're able to see all of your individual listings now and their individual performance. When you click Set Comparison, Total and Difference, you're bringing in your dynamic sets to give you context on each of your individual metrics. As you can see, dynamic sets are designed to be brought into many aspects of Wheelhouse. And in the future, you'll use them to empower even more functions for your business.